Welcome back, True Seeker. This morning, November 30th, 2017, the YouTube channel Awake Time with Jerry was deleted. This is a man I've had on my radio show recently, been promoting his channel a bunch. The reason it was deleted is because last night he uploaded a video asking people to join him December 14th in Newtown, Connecticut. That's the anniversary of the Sandy Hook shooting. In his video, he showed that he printed out signs. He wants people to come stand with him, help spread the awareness of the false flag that took place there and elsewhere, the ongoing agenda that needs to be stopped in its tracks. Jerry used to live in this community. He's someone with definitive proof that Sandy Hook was not open when that hoax happened. He knew that that school had been closed since the flooding for years, and he lived there. If you don't know about Jerry's story, he had moved to Flint, Michigan recently. He was there when they had the Uber driver shooting hoax, February 2016. He began exposing that in his community, and for his efforts, he had the local police raid and destroy his house. And, you know, I, I had pretty much the same thing happen to me November 15th. 2014 after exposing the false flag at the Washington State High School in Marysville, which is about a 20-minute drive from me. You know, just weeks after exposing that, my home destroyed. Everything's stolen. So I identify with Jerry. Him and I were after the same thing, ending the agenda. He needs people to come stand with him December 14th. And I feel bad that I cannot be there. December 15th is a deadline for me to get a bunch of things done for the selling of my house. I'm going through the process of selling my house right now. The buyer, we're, we're in the pending stage. I have to have a number of things done by December 15th. Been working on them, a lot of projects. So anyway, I cannot be there. And I really want to be there. I'm going to send Jerry some money. In his video last night promoting it, he asked if somebody could please send him just $50. He said if he had $50, he could use that for his gas money to get back to Sandy Hook and then back home and maybe get a meal. I'm going to send Jerry 100 bucks to make sure he has enough gas and can eat plenty. I was going to spend money on a plane ticket to get out there. And if somebody already sent Jerry $50, I'm going to still send him 100 bucks anyway because poor guy shouldn't have to be that broke. I'd be just as broke as Jerry if I wasn't in the cancer medicine business. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of money either, but that is how I get by. And I've said this before. Some people say, how do you get by, Zach? Well, I know how to live on $1,000 a month. And, you know, I got to get people their medicine. But anyway, I got 100 bucks for Jerry. Jerry... Set up a PayPal and close that GoFundMe. That GoFundMe account's going to get frozen and you're not going to be able to get the money out of it. Trust me. <laughs> Every time I've tried to set up a GoFundMe, it gets frozen. And if you're getting censored on YouTube, then you're in the same boat as me. So anyway, get a PayPal up. Let me know where that is. And I got $100 for you ASAP. And if anybody else wants to support Jerry, please do. I mean, this is someone who deserves to be supported. He's dedicating all of his time to getting out the word just like I am. And if you can get to Connecticut, that's even more important because he doesn't want to be alone there. And he better not be alone there. That's what I feel bad about. I don't want him to be alone there. I want to know that there's at least one other person there. But I can't because I have to do something else right now in my life, the way things have worked out. So, again, December 14th, Newtown, Connecticut. If you're in the area, if you can drive there, if you can get a train ride there, if you can get a bus ride there, you know, beautiful. And for the record, this is what I want to start doing. And this, this is the campaign I tried to start art a year ago with All for Truth. We need to start finding the truth seekers in our community. We need to organize and we need to make our presence known on the streets. Not just where the false flags happen. We need to be on busy street corners. We need to be out in front of the mall, in front of the sports game, showing people what's up. You know, this is what we need to do. The problem is a lot of us, we're beholden to our jobs. We've got to work. We're working slaves. We've got to work. We've got to be at work. Otherwise, we have no money to put the roof over our head. You know, pay the bills. Put food on the table. So my goal, the book's about to come out. After that, what I want to do is I want to hit the road. I want to speak in communities, help wake people up, help, help 
start to form these relationships and communities. You know, maybe people show up to see me speak, if that'll even happen. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. But maybe people come to that, and then they meet other people in their community who are interested, and then boom, there's something there. And if I can go from town to town and help five, ten people meet each other, that's something. And it can grow from there. Or hopefully more than five to ten people. But I'm just saying, even five to ten people is better than nothing. If you can get five to ten people who are awake out on a corner on a busy street in a busy community, you know, you're going to wake up more people. So anyway, that's the game plan. I'm going to be moving to the middle of Washington State where there's a lot of agriculture land. If the book sells big and I get a lot of money, what I want to do is I want to buy up this agriculture land. You know, it's not expensive out there. And there's all sorts of things we can start doing. We can start farming, you know, we, we can build cheap housing, maybe start, you know, a, a truth seeker colony, if you will. People who want to come out and dedicate their life to, you know, speaking and seeking truth and starting an actual community, having our own food supply. And that's what's beautiful about a place like Yakima, where I'm moving to. There's local food all over the place. You want to be in a place where there's local food. You got local food and you got a roof over your head. You're pretty much squared away in this world. And, you know, the downside of Yakima is it has a really high crime rate. It's got a really high burglary rate. It's got a really high murder rate. Amazingly, for a small town, it has a very high murder rate for the amount of people that live there. It's, what that tells me is there's a lot of poor people that need an opportunity. You know, there's a major meth and crack problem there. These are the types of people who need to be helped. You know, you give these people an opportunity, you give them a place to live, a steady supply of food, a roof over their head. <laughs> How funny. Jerry just texted me. Let me see what Jerry just texted. Well, he texted me that he doesn't have a PayPal account. So, Jerry, you need to get a PayPal account. But anyway. We need to make things happen. That's the point. Jerry's trying to make things happen. A lot of you are trying to make things happen. We're all trying to make things happen. We've got to make it happen. And... Just so you know, if you want to see Jerry's videos, he's at this new website, 153news.net. This is a recently launched website in response. Look at that. Jerry's even on the front page of this website. This website recently launched because of all the censorship by Google and other places. And if you just search Awake Time with Jerry in the search box, his videos are here. The problem with this website right now is there's no traffic here. And pretty much the only traffic here are the people who are already awake and are aware of the censorship. So Jerry and also TFL at War, you guys got to keep making videos at YouTube. You can upload to this website too, but you guys got to keep coming back to YouTube because this is where the traffic is. And, you know, it also shows them that you're not going to go away. Just like how I'm on my 10th channel since June of this year. They continue to delete my channels and put two strikes on them so I can't post. Whatever. I'll just keep posting videos anyway. I'll just make a new account. It only takes five minutes. So, anyway. You want to watch Wake Time with Jerry's at 153news.net. Hopefully, he'll get back on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to TFL at War, got to subscribe to this guy. I don't know anyone speaking more common sense than TFL at War and Awake Time with Jerry right now. They're not Dramatria channels, but they're just speaking common sense. <laughs> and if I could pass some advice on to TFL at War, I would just say, man, stop ranting about the women, you know? Just, there's only so many problems you can take on in this world, and I do know what you're saying, but when you're speaking about the tyrants, that's where it's at. And um, do realize, I mean, it's not all women there's plenty of women in this truth community that got more balls than most men so just a little advice from me some friendly criticism tyrants are the focus
take down the tyrants, take down their programming, solve all the problems you're talking about with so many women in this world. December 14th, True Seeker, Newtown, Connecticut. Really, if you can be there, you got to make this happen. You know, be very cool to see people, you know, live video streaming, putting out videos. Be beautiful if there was a big crowd there. And um, what's coming December 14th, we're going to do it a lot more. We need to start doing this all over the place. That's how we're going to change things. Imagine it, you know, all the people are at the mall. Imagine it, every week you get a group of people in front of the mall, you know, put out the knowledge. People got to think about something else besides shopping and buying the latest whatever. All right, true secret. Until next time.